Łudzinika. History player. It is horror. 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 Uh, now he is in a ZBZ against Sue. Now Sue is definitely solid at ZBZ. He always has been. Yeah. Um, that's the other part of it. You know, he's not someone like Biel who's going to just throw out a hat first against someone he's never seen and just be like, okay, I hope he doesn't attack me. Sue's a guy that will prepare and uh, will make sure that he doesn't die to anything stupid early on so that he can just beat him in the late game. So, um, I mean, obviously, odds drastically going towards Sue here. Uh, but maybe Horror can pull a rabbit out of his hat. I'm not sure. You know, Sue, um, I, if I were Sue, I'd play super safe, super defensive. It is going to be on the map, uh, the modified version of Prion Terraces. So, uh, you know, gold bases are going to be a, a big factor here. Maybe he can do something kind of weird, kind of unusual, and pull out a win. Anyways, Horror versus Sue. Let's go. In the red is horror. Chicken pack hype. <laughs> Chicken pack. In the upper left, in the blue, Sue. I think when I go home tasteless tonight, I'm gonna order myself a little chicken pack, take it home with me, eat a bit of chicken. What about you? I'm like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I, I've been eating unhealthy this week, man. I've been I've been sinning, man. I've been going for Taco Bell. Not up for that chicken nights. pack. I I need to go for something. Uh... Then again, I, I brought Subway sandwich here <laughs> today, and I mean, I, granted, I don't think that's like the worst thing in the world. It's certainly not the best, but uh, they do have. If you guys want to support this team, uh, MVP Chicken Maru, definitely go to some Chicken Maru uh, Hoffs. Have some uh, chicken and beer. That's kind of the quintessential. Basic, awesome Korean life. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I got you, Taste. It's like fried chicken and beer at PC Cafe. Is is kind of yeah ca captures the. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, um, you want to get some Korean barbecue as well. Get some meat besides that fried chicken mm -hmm. while you are down here. If you don't live in yeah, I'd, I'd say I mean, uh, if you live here, then everybody knows that you get you know beer and fried chicken. But if you're yeah. uh, if you're visiting, then you want to go for the Korean barbecue. My, my curse. Well, I'd say do both, you know. But yeah, sure. T take a week of vacation. Say, hey, I know I'm going to gain five pounds. Oh, well. Oh, I need well. to experience the country and all That's it has right. to offer in terms of unhealthy food and uh, PC cafes. Where you can get some ramen, some snacks. <laughs> you name it. Some soda. Yeah, that's you true. You can order pizza. Yeah, you you, you to get, the you, PC bar. You give me the unhealthy young person and get the ramen and the soda and the candy bars at the PC cafe while playing some games, and you can be the unhealthy adult that uh yeah has the fried chicken with the beer. Yeah, yeah, you can have yeah. it all. My curse is that whenever I go overseas to work at esports events, man, everybody's always like, "Let's all get Korean barbecue." Oh. And everybody's no. like, everybody's like, yeah! And I'm like, no, wait, wait, You're no. Like, no. I, I, I want something that's not Korean because I eat that all the time. But I always get drowned out. Yeah. All right, anyways, in this game here, um, we do see Sue is going for that Roach War. And by the way, this is a modified version of the original map. So the gold base is actually at your natural, which makes uh, for a pretty spicy game, Valdez. Nice and spicy. Well, it makes it so that um, hats first are very common you know because you right. do want that kind of something's going on with my camera okay there we go uh you do want that kind of economy early on of course you could try to counter that go for like a super early pool but uh very risky i'd say well i mean just getting that hatch up if you start to mine from it it's crazy i mean the, the lead you get is so tremendous yeah so looks like sue going to go for a lair here on the back of that road torn. Whereas uh, Horror just getting his own road torn up now. Yeah, so the, um, yeah, the road torn is just on the way here. 
Oh, he's making two Rotorns. Whoa. Okay, and... now now that's either really good or really bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a mistake, especially because I think he placed them right next to each other. That's in the front, right? Oh, no, there's actually one Rotorn at oh the front. Oh, my God. No, no, no. And one Here, here's why I'm worried is that Horror is a, is a rookie. Uh -oh. And guys, pe by, by the way, guys, people do this all the time. The best best players occasionally make an extra tech building. Um, but unless we see double Roach upgrades. Oh, oh that was at close. The last Whoa. second. Whoa. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Horror is just messing yeah. with us the entire I just, time. I just checked down, down there. I want to see if Horror had any kind of physical reaction to that. Because if you just make two of those and you lose <laughs> on TV, it's like, all right, you're not coming back out and playing for yeah, us, like, man. Yeah, that was your last chance. I'm sorry. No, but we, we've seen some better players make that mistake before as well. Now, uh, note the uh, queens moving across the map. That's a tell. Uh, that's a te that's telegraphing that there's going to be a pretty intense all in here. Um, you know, to try to just smash Sue at his expansion. Um, now, at the same time, we have him expanding behind this. Okay, so it's not going to be an all in, but it's definitely going to be something where he's going to force Sue to defend. Yeah, he's maybe take out his third. He's throwing a couple of queens into the mix, at least. Just two, keeping two at home. Poking up the ramp, seeing what Sue does have. It is going to be hard to get up that ramp. But he's going to try for it anyway, even without his queens. Yeah, this is uh, this might be a little bit dangerous because the queens are going to get the transfuses off before. Um, so far, so good here for Sue. Queens again, not over there just yet, but now that they're about to be on creep, this could actually open a lot. The Lynx are trying to come up here. Horror is starting to overwhelm uh, Asu right now. And it looks like this just might be enough. He's taking up both the Queens. How is he doing this? He's up the ramp, and now the Queens are joining in, and he's got a bunch of Lynx to follow this up. Oh my god, he just has enough here. Oh no, hold on, hold on. The drones are going to come down. The Roaches are getting a good concave here. Uh, now the Lynx, the function of them is to tank and do damage. So the roaches in the back and keep doing their damage. More links. Normally when you do this, you make a set of roaches, and then it's the rest of it's just mass links. Yeah, and a lot of these roaches are very low, and the links are coming through. Looks oh. like they are going to give up on the roaches, but they're going for the drones in the main. Now keep in mind, already Sue is behind on drones. A few more drones picked off here is definitely going to behoove horror. Third base done for both players. Gold minerals available uh, in a greater amount. And note that he pulls off the majority of his drones on his main to go to that gold base. Yeah, very smartly done. Sue, I, I think, has a bit of rebuilding to do, I suppose. Uh, definitely behind on workers. Is remaking a bunch of those now as her just makes more roaches. Looks like he may want to follow up and even pressure, or maybe he's just making them to defend because he knows that Sue has got some units still out in the map and uh, wants to defend this base. Well, the thing about horror now is he's got some decent tempo here. Uh, Sue hasn't started mining the gold base yet. Um, and is Am I correct on that? There's no drones down there, right? Uh, I think they... Couple. Okay, there's, there's two drones, so that's yeah. uh, that's enough to be no drones. Um, so I think Horror might actually just outmuscle him, and this would be probably the biggest upset of the day if Horror actually managed <laughs> of to the stop, year, perhaps. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Uh, for a match like this, with Horror with... Uh, laughable you know results previously not not that he's not a good player but at this level of play uh, I mean seriously you know horror is uh, you would not consider him in the same caliber of Sue oh, yeah. but so far so good Sue beginning to mine those gold minerals can you actually do a quick count for me of Valdez I'm sorry guys Valdez is the one with the preview PC. yeah I got this can you actually check how many workers are at each gold base before this battle oh, happens okay. uh, the second gold base Ellie you got 11 at the second one 10 at the the natural, the natural for her. Uh, eight at the second one for Sue, and 12 at the natural. Okay. And with that being said, the next timing does come up here. Or is going to come up and try to do a pretty big attack. They both got plus one in speed, so equal upgrades. But Sue has the concave. He's got the queens and a couple of ravagers. So her has to be very careful about this attack. All right, he's coming up now. Corrosive Bile being shot out here. We don't see any Ravagers in the army right now for Horror, uh, but possibly better angling here. Although right now you can see Sue can actually use that hatchery to try to abuse the arc. Yeah, Horror doing a nice job trying to pull Sue into his arc. 
but I think he's just got less stuff and the Ravagers in the back doing more DPS. Yeah, it's, it's Ravagers and Queens that are winning this for Sue right now. We see reinforcements coming up here, but it seems as though Sue just has a better understanding of how to balance out workers uh, and economy versus roaches. Yeah, and it, now we got a couple of roaches coming across, but Sue's going for the counterattack and Horror's making some drones. Uh, definitely needs some units to hold off this attack. A nice little harass here with a couple of roaches, but uh, not going to be enough damage, I feel. Sue's coming up now. Uh, we have Ravager here and additional roaches. He's going to try to reinforce this. We see right now a, a horror hitting hard right now at this bottom location, but a repositioning uh, pretty effectively done now. And it seems like Sue might be able to lock horror out of his own base over there uh, uh, just above the second. Yeah, Sue ahead 30 army supply right now. Just swinging the hammer now, trying to run up the ramp and finish it off. GG. GG, nicely done there by Sue. Yeah, so that was getting scary for a bit. We, uh, we had Sue in a very awkward spot. Look, I know exactly how to sum this up, okay? We saw why Horror is a pro gamer and why they decided to bring him out. And then as the game went on, we also saw why Sue has performed so well in previous StarCraft II tournaments, because he actually managed to hold that. Uh, luckily for Horror, he didn't have that embarrassing moment where he had the double Roach Warren. Yeah, that was really close. Really, really close. And uh, obviously for the build he was doing, he didn't need that second Roach Warren, so would have been a big mistake. Well, um, I mean, not much else to say about that game. That was pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, in case you're confused about how some battles are won and lost, I mean, you got to watch for when queens are helping in the fight versus when queens are transferring. The same for how many Ravagers you have. When you yeah. can use Corrosive Bile to even make the move a little bit, you can reposition your army. Mm. Um, we're going to go to a five-minute break. When we come back, we're going to go on to our next match here in Pro League 2016.